Hello, man. I'm enjoying this. It's tickling the hairs on my legs. You've got hairs on your legs. Of course I have, haven't you? Of course. We need to speak to Greg and Jimmy. No. Why not? Have you any idea what it's like knowing that Gregory boy is simply drooling over you all the time? Well, Miles and Giles, I had to ask them. Uh, in. no. Why not? Because I wouldn't be seeing Dad asking favours off those oiks. Yeah, but they've got all the gear. Come on, guys. Think what the four of us could do in a session on that stuff. Come on, Giles. Let's go. What? Leisure centre. Training. See you later. Sorry about that. Had to put on a bit of a show, you know, for Miles' sake. Did you see how jealous he was looking? You know? I'm all for grabbing Greg. His equipment, I mean. His workstation and drum kit. How do we do that? I smile my sweetest smile and say, Gregory boy, how about letting me have a session in your studio? And he'll say, yeah, yeah, of course. He's in love with me, isn't he? What time is it? He'll be delivering the Argus soon. Yeah, but what about Miles and Giles? Let them work their boyish energies off with their rugby training. No. There was no way I was going to let Jassy know what we're really up to. No? No. We definitely don't want any girls around. So, you know, this business. What business? When we grab Greg on his paper. Hand. What? Yeah. And ask him, nicely, if we can use his studio. I suppose he says no. Well, if he says no, we just have to you know, drop the police. <laughs> like I said before, it's a tough old world as a music biz. There's no place for girls. No. No sign of Janice and Carly on afternoon? Must have wagged off. Yeah. Hanging about on the front, I expect. Probably. How's his shake, then? Yeah, come on. You've been waiting for us to come out of there all afternoon. Yeah. You miss double music. Don't like music. As the farmer said, it's the cow up over his welly. Eh? What? Music. Get it? Anyway, what we've got to say to you is this. Yo, you cool dudes, you were great! Yeah! Yesterday, the way you laid those St. Apple burgers, posh git. Yeah. Those scarves, what a disguise. Fooled them, eh? Fooled us too. Yeah? Yeah. Next time we plan to give Lord Snoot and his pals good going over, let us know. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Great. Gotta go looking for something. What's that? Trouble. Yeah. Go on, then open it. The letter. What's she say then? She wants to meet me tonight, in the hall, after closing time. Greg. Uh, Greg. What? You're going to ask her then? Ask her what? You know, if she'll, uh, she'll let me kiss her. She'll join our band, Greg, join our band. Look, I'm telling you, Rugger training is dead boring to watch. I don't know. What are you going to wear? Why? You don't seem to have any kit with you. Oh. Why not treat us to a drink instead? So, what did you want with our newspaper delivery man, anyway? Oh, well, a copy of the Evening Argus. Yeah, right. You thought it was Greg. <sighs> no. Any idiot could have seen it wasn't Greg. You want to borrow his studio, don't you? Look, it's like this. Yeah. Thought so, without us. No. You thought you could make a demo tape on your own, didn't you? What do you think you are? Eck and dumb? Well, it's a grommet's more love. <sighs> we were gonna tell you. It was gonna be a surprise. It was a surprise, wasn't it? For you, when we found out what you were up to. <gasps> Women! It's all an act anyway. Yeah? Yeah. She sent me this. She wants to meet me tonight. 
in the hall when it's closed. What for? Jassy. She invited me here. Me too. She's double booked herself. Women. They're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. Too tiny, little. Still, she'll be here in a minute. Oh, well, I think I'll go. Oh, well, hang on a sec. Yeah, and um, I wanted to ask you a favour. You wouldn't lend us your studio for a session, would you? Please? Actually, it's not mine. I'll let you have this date with Jassy. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm not that fussed about her, to be honest. She's a girl with very expensive tastes. And I'm totally skint at the moment. Get on with it! Bye! Bye! Who invited you here? Jassy. Well, her little sister, actually. She gave me this. Snap. Romy Pinkerton. I'm gonna kill you. What's going on? Come here! Get him now! Oi, get back here! Hello. Oh, hi. Can my friends have your autograph, please? Give the little toe rag a clout around the ear hole. See, he's still on for that studio session. Look, I could fix this date for you to take Jassy out. Yeah? Yeah, no props. It's Jimmy's studio. I'll have to ask him. Well, fine. How about if we all meet up tomorrow after school at Waves? OK, I'll see you, Giles, and the girls then. Well, the girls aren't really interested in music. No? No. But I thought... It's Giles and me. OK. OK. The there is one thing, you know. What's that? Well, there's a couple of girls in our class, and if they see us all together like this, we might have to put on a bit of a show. What sort of a show? Well, we might have to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you? So long as it's not too hard. And so long as we can hit you back. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh... Good. That's settled then. So you, uh, want to hire my studio, then? I want to borrow it. Greg knows the terms, don't mm. you, Greg? Yeah, and so do I. Good. And they stink. Excuse me? You are not setting up a mate of mine. On a duff day. Jimmy. And you you should get one thing straight. Thank you, Greg. It's simple. You want to make it in the music biz, right? Right. Right. Fame, money, girls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And you've got all the equipment. And the know-how. Too right we have. And a couple of pretty good songs. Yeah, and we've got the talent. <laughs> <laughs> he saw us the other day in Dr. B. Yeah, yeah, and we saw the girls in Dr. B as well. Yeah, but the girls aren't interested in joining a band, are they? Well, we sort of gathered that. Come on, let's go. 